Uh, Carlos, wrong place, wrong time in that final run. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, it cost as much. Maybe you, a position or so with with George, but uh, mm -hmm. nothing new today. Just uh, kept struggling with the car, kept struggling with my feeling, kept struggling on the brakes. And uh, yeah, clearly lacking this weekend, a bit of a damage limitation weekend for me because I'm clearly not, not feeling at home and uh, yeah, I'm struggling to put laps together. I can see that you're trying everything, but any idea why it's just so difficult around here? But there's no, no time to change the car, also no time to really go through the data and put together some changes with this format. So I'm just um, clearly lacking and uh, yeah, the compromises of this format is that the, if there's something wrong or uh, there's a direction that, uh, that is not working that you don't have time to change it. No? So a bit of a damage limitation, but um, yeah, uh, clearly we, we will go after this weekend to try and find what, what's going on. It looked a little bit more challenging out there today. Sorry, I'm roasting. No, that's right. Uh, it looks a little, a little more challenging out there today. What was the car like? Uh, the sessions were going really well, actually. Um, Q1 and Q2 were going well. Uh, my last lap wasn't... Uh, I just struggled with the rear end on the last lap, and I didn't get a tow at the end. The Red Bulls pulled too far ahead, so a um, bit unfortunate, but I gave it everything, and that's all you can ever ask for. A little bit more pressure with the shorter timings in session. Were you enjoying it out there? It was fun. Qualifying is always fun, so it just felt like another qualifying session. And very much in the mix for the sprint later today? Yeah, I mean, it's only 17 laps, so not a huge, a massive amount that you can do, I, I would assume, in that time. But uh, ho I hope that we get some sort of race. Checo so close to sprint pole today. What's the overriding emotions? Yeah, I think uh, track, obviously, very different. And, um, yeah, just getting a set on the, on the soft was uh, pretty challenging getting a read on the medium tire as well. Um, it was a, yeah, a tricky session in the end, I think. Uh, just having a little bit more of a clean run on, uh, on my lap will, will, will have helped me. Um, probably to get pole, you know, with Charles hitting the wall. But they, they, they're just a bit stronger than us in over one lap. So hopefully uh, this afternoon we are able to, to close the gap and, and beat them on race pace. I was going to say, generally speaking, the Red Bull race car is good, isn't it? So are you still in with a fight to win this race this afternoon? Yeah, it will be the target. That will be the target uh, for this afternoon and, and also for for tomorrow. What was the sprint format like? Fast and Furious, it looked like it. Yeah, it was uh, Fast and Furious. I think, uh, yeah, it won't be long before they they put a ring on, on, on the middle of the track and put all the drivers before. Uh, to get a to get a fight, so uh, it was enjoyable though. That. Misery kind of feels as bad as it did yesterday. What kind of happens with the car today? Because you're in the pits for a bit. Of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we had a, an exhaust leak, um, which uh, yeah could have triggered a, a fire and and some more issues for the rest of the weekend. So we had to uh, we had to stop after the first lap and um, and yeah, not uh, clearly not ideal and and yeah. Everything sort of uh, um, stack up, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll try our best uh, for for this afternoon, and then we'll focus on the race tomorrow. Yeah. How much do you think you will be able to fight back in the sprint? Because it's so fast and furious, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I've probably done more warm-up laps than than push lap this weekend, so it's it's, it's pretty sad to say. But uh, yeah, we are not in a great place. Um, you know, I, I still I still believe we got a good race car, and um, and yeah, I, I've. Worked as hard as I could last night. Still gonna do everything I can uh, before the sprint. It's obviously a short race, so will be will be tough from where we start. But um, yeah, still anything can happen. And then tomorrow it's a, it's a much longer race, so uh, hopefully we can um, we can get some good data today and uh, and uh, fully use it uh, tomorrow. Oscar just P11 knocked out at the death in SQ2. Uh, Fernando Alonso towing Lance Stroll into SQ3. Talk me through it. Yeah, um, yeah, shame to miss out by, by so much. It sounds like it was, was very close from where I was to uh, seventh or eighth. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with, with 11th. Um, yeah, it's been a rough 24 hours. So happy to just be out in the car at the moment, to be honest. A rough 24 hours? How do you mean? It's been uh, quite the physical journey for the last 24 hours. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. so. Okay, Try and uh, well. limber up for tonight. Okay, well, fingers crossed you'll be feeling a bit better. You. Um, you must have some confidence though with the fact that once again you're knocking on the door of SQ3. Your teammate Lando Norris, albeit with no softs, is up there as well. This McLaren is stepping on, isn't it? 
Yeah, definitely. It's been a, a really positive weekend for us. Um, I think you know our upgrades have, have worked well, and I think our cars suiting this track, uh, especially the surface, quite well as well. So, um, no, it, it's nice to be uh, a bit close to the front, um, and yeah, nice to be knocking on on the door of points um, consistently this weekend.